So we got a nice video for you all today. I saw Jono's out there kind of putting out a quick warning for us. Man. Things are going to get interesting in the next few months. And we might have a problem now. <laughs> I saw 2K Lab post a clip. I saw my guy Yadma post a clip. And there's going to be problems out there with these postcards. We got to talk about that. And I saw someone made a huge mistake. I'm trying to protect y'all from making that same mistake as well. So we got a few things we got to check out in this video. So without further ado, I need y'all to grab yourself that brew and let's get to the info. We the boot squad, we the boot squad, we the boot squad, we the boot squad. So you don't know, your boy brutal, sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a neck video for y'all man so we don't get straight to the news don't forget to like share subscribe making a push for that 300k it's on the way y'all know how it is grind don't stop shout out to the brew squad in the comment section we're gonna start off right here with this tweet from joe knows he put this post out say yo i'm about a week away from a rent joe knows i can't wait i ain't gonna lie to you man you got a way of making stuff entertaining i remember that lockdown rent that you made last year y'all check this clip out what the are we talking about these motherfuckers, bro? They're making fucking 300 pound lockdown builds like this. I stick rippering. What the? F <laughs> I can't make this up. That was funny as hell, y'all. I gotta give it props. That was one of the funniest rants I heard in a while, and I'm looking forward to part two now this person responded and i ain't gonna lie like you could see some disdain right here in this response it said bro just relax y'all just complain and complain y'all want a perfect game but as soon as something doesn't fit and stops you from playing the way you want to play and dominate the game broken needs to get fixed just adapt getting stripped on the way to the basket stop doing it maybe <laughs> Okay, so this person, like, he already know what Joe Knows want to speak about. Now, Joe Knows responded and said, Who says it was a negative rant? Stop making assumptions. I have a 90 win percentage in all game modes and average 30 plus in Pro Am and 45 plus in the rec. I'm not struggling, my friend. Now, this person then responded and said, Specify and I won't make assumptions. All y'all, oh God, I hate the all y'all YouTubers. Say you, Joe Knows, need to do this. When I, I don't know, no, you got an issue with Joe Nose right now. Highlight Joe Nose and what the problem you have with Joe Nose. But people, all your YouTubers do the same thing. As soon as y'all don't like something in the game, y'all just make a YouTube video on it. Duh, it's content. Why not put your opinion out in a video? So why are people mad at somebody putting their opinions out in a video? Anyway, let's continue on. And he said, y'all just make YouTube videos on it. And it changed. To be fair, if you YouTubers made a game, it would suck. <laughs> There'll be a patch every week to fix. He said, oh, you're one of those guys. Yeah, that that y'all guys. And then Bad for his father said, all oh, y'all YouTubers do the same thing. Yeah, those guys. Now he actually follow up with this point. So when people get that plus 15 cap breakers, they ain't gonna be a lock on the court anymore. They're will be five locks now cap breakers does add a lot of flexibility but i don't think most people in tuki community are gonna get all 15 cap breakers and it's gonna take some grind it's gonna take some time but i could see people on the comp scene putting their time to unlock those so the comp scene gonna be crazy it's already crazy right now we was running proving grounds last night and i swear every possession somebody picked up a foul because everybody's spamming steals so you have to be a l trigger dribbler because more blitzing left right spamming lanes you see dj like what you, what you, what you? i'm like damn like how much spams do you have my g almost every possession was a foul almost every possession was a foul and people wonder why that mode is not fun to play full time i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry bro people go away with cheesy ass lineups and just spam steals everybody got 91 plus steals Everybody blitz and spam like, bro, that's not fun. I'm sorry, okay? If y'all want to spend y'all time doing that, good for y'all. I respect it. But me, nah. Nah, I'm good on all that. <laughs> I'm good. I like to create builds with 99 dunks and stuff, which I'm going to drop one for y'all soon. I got that in the top, of course. Now, 
Let's move on to the problem at hand in the 2K community. <laughs> I saw NBA 2K Labs made this post yesterday. It's a rhythm shooting stack, right? Put mid-range lethal zones, legend post fade, and Hall of Fame Deadeye with rhythm versus red contest. And they post this clip right here. And don't forget to use that code BRUTALSIM to get that 20% off NBA 2K Labs premium service, y'all. Okay, BRUTALSIM. You get that 20% off because they got some statistics and numbers that would help you and give you that competitive edge, okay? Trust your boy on that. You can't see a boy never hook y'all up or nothing. So I want y'all to check this clip out. Here's rhythm shooting in a mid-range lethal zone combined with legend post fade. Is this stick skills in fair play or too OP with a dirt build? Now I saw it yesterday, I was like, yeah, I hope this doesn't go viral. But guess what? It seems like people been using this from the drop of the game, right? I saw my guy Yardman drop a banger yesterday and he posted a little clip on Twitter. He said NBA 2K25, best 2K ever. He said, I don't care what no one says. Masterpiece at Baluba. But that's up me general, you know, that was sarcasm by my guy Yardman. <laughs> and of course, he posted this clip to go along with it. Shout out to Mike Wong for what you're about to witness. <laughs> this this right here, Mike Wong, you're the freaking <laughs> greatest. Which, which which side you want me on? Corner. Nah, right? It don't matter. You, you can stay right there. You can right where you at. Uh, mm hmm. Bullet. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Sorry, Twitch streamer, but we have to do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Take the Tim's off, bro. Take the Tim's off. <laughs> he think he has some food. Food. He think he has some, bro. In his mouth. Ooh, so that stuff dead. Don't follow the log. He he's lied. just baiting. He, he's he, just baiting. He, 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 he. Nah, nah. He, three he, seconds. Three him. seconds. A green. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know, little series. Oh my gosh, we having casual conversations. I'm going to get on the body, man. Look at him. Ah. Look. look. <laughs> Over both of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's looking tough out there. Is looking tough. In fact, I went and was watching streamers and I saw people running that in Antioch. A center and two shooting. Anytime you help or try to double, they dot in them and it's money. So it's going to be problems out there with these postcards and 2K does this every single year. Now, if you all want to check out the full clip, Yardman did post the full video on his channel. Make sure to check out my guy Yardman's video. It's funny as hell and a little annoying as hell at the same time. But it seemed like the number two person in the world. How he got there? By using that post scoring strategy. It's an unstoppable, literally unstoppable bill. No matter what defense you have, no matter what you do, it's going to be money, especially with the rhythm shooting fade. And the drop steps are powerful as hell. We got a few people responding. This user said, nah, this is sad. Even if he played against someone with a high interior, he probably would have still made it. And the Yadma response said, even with a 95 plus interior, they couldn't stop it. Now, I so saw Lock TV said, every year 2K nerf dunking, dribbling, shooting, etc. One thing that is never nerfed is post scorers. It's ridiculous. He said, the most unskilled build in the game, and it doesn't matter what height you are, post scorers throw you around like Prime Shaq. It's tiring year after effing. Yeah, he followed up with a tweet that said, let me clear this up for those who are confused. He said, when I mean postcards, I mean the shove off animation, the back down and drop step, they remove animate. And this is what annoys me right here. They actually remove the pull the chair animation, which tells me there were a postcard in there on the development team trying to make postcard overpowered because i've tried to pull the chair that was the one thing i had to combat post scores back in the day especially if you go on ones and twos right now ones and twos are being overran by post scores and a lockdown shout out to my guy one shot blizzy shout out to my guy i know right now he's there like bro shut the hell up they all time patching us because one shot blizzy be running that since 2k 20 2k 19 i played against one shot blizzy he be running with a post score in a lockdown as soon as they get a rebound and the lockdown got really high rebounds if he missed the post scorer would just be, be there going to work while the lockdown just 
gets the rebound. So that strategy been relevant for years, but it is what it is. People are complaining about this big time. So they actually remove the pull the chair animation. So you can't counter them like this. They say, regardless of your strength, height attributes, you can and will get back down and don't on nonstop. Let me know if you all agree with this or not in the comment section, because as I said before, every year 2K does the same thing, drop the game with post scoring. Some some mechanic in post scoring being overpowered. This year, whew, yeah, they're a problem. The problem is they only score two. So that's why I don't play those game modes where they get the ball back. I prefer playing like 3v3s or 5v5s where you have to exchange possessions. Not if you score, you get the ball back. Those post scorers will always dominate those modes because they barely miss. They barely miss. I managed to when when me and Jay Z was playing some tools because you know for the blackout you gotta complete certain things. I hate tools personally, but we went out there and we ran up against a post score and we got one stop. And guess what? We knew we had to score. We knew we cannot miss because anytime we miss, there is no way we could stop these post scorers and lockdowns from doing what they do. This is a very popular lineup right now especially on twos. Once postcards are dominated, it's not even close. Let me know what y'all think about postcards in NBA 2K25. Now, this day's user actually made a huge mistake. And I'm trying to protect y'all from making this mistake. If you're in one affiliation, do not go and speak to the next affiliation by accident and click true because you might make this mistake and reset your rep. Now, this user made this post, he said, my teammate just accidentally reset his rep, hashtag NBA 2K25. I wonder if 2K support might be able to help you with this, man, because yeah, <laughs> there's no benefit to switching right now, to be honest, because from my understanding, everybody got the same rewards besides wearing whatever flag. But he posted this clip to go along with it. I want y'all to check this clip out. I just did something talking to this guy in the green. Affiliation transfer to the elite, doing the elite ball. Now that's gonna reset your rep, dummy, don't do that. I did, yeah. it did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. That hurts, go. bro. What is, <laughs> is that like? That hurt. I didn't mean to do that dumb shit, bro. I didn't know talking to dude. All I did was run past him and accidentally hit A, and then he started talking. And I just, I just, I just hit A, bro. <laughs> yeah, you told me <laughs> <what I> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just reset my rep to one, bro. Why would I reset my rep? What does that do for me? <sighs> Honey, what does that do for me, bro? Oh, no, you should still have your mascot, right? Wait, where do you unlock mascots at? In the season. This is just waiting for a teammate, bro. Okay, well, yeah, wait. we're not in the squad. Like, Jesus Christ. Tonic, <laughs> bro. Just, oh, bro. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That's tough as hell, man. So let me know what y'all would do if this happened to y'all, man. 2K support gotta be able to help, man. They got to be able to help with something like this. But I would, oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I just hit start of four yesterday, bro. I would feel a type of way. I gotta be honest with y'all, man. So that's all I got for y'all today, man. Let me know what y'all think. Is postcarding a big issue, y'all? Y'all see it being a bigger issue because this is gonna be way more popular. I'm already seeing it in 5v5. The thing with 5v5 is we could live with the two. It's been reach up on some team that's sticking to their strategies, like the big, big postcards right now. They're very relevant today. Now, so one would make an argument that this is not bad because there are already aspects of the game that are overpowered. The next aspect is gonna add some balance and add some more variety. That's a good argument to make. But let me know your stand on the post score situation. And let me know if y'all believe this plus 15 is going to unlock a really toxic community when it comes to locks. I think it's already toxic as hell because people are spamming endlessly, especially if you play against a set squad with set people on it. They, they run that zone and they just stand in wiki, wiki, wiki. But Again, the best way to play this is patience, space the floor, and then pass the open dude. Which, unfortunately, if you play with randoms, most people think they got a back door. Like, everybody got a back door at the same time pause, okay? Everybody see they got a back door cut to the basket, and then it crosses the lane and works in favor of the defenders who spam and steals. That's why I tell people, yo, I know y'all hate zone. The reason why y'all hate zone is because y'all like to cut every single time. That actually works in their favor. 
Every time you see, no, no, no. They're giving you that back door so they could spam that steal. So if you're patient and stay on the, the edges, right? On the four corners and have somebody high on top, that's how you kill the zone instantly. When we see zone, we laugh. If you put a, we see a post score down there, we laugh. We space the floor and they gotta come out of that zone. And I'm telling people are like, why y'all run zone? You just gotta be patient. It's a very simple, simple thing to beat. Trust your boy on that. But a lot of y'all, sorry to say, y'all reveal yourself in the comment section. Oh, I hate zone. No, don't just hate zone. It is a, it is a defense that is played in basketball. Don't hate it. Learn how to beat it. Then when you see it, you identify it and destroy it. It's very simple to beat. Y'all hate stuff that y'all can't defeat because y'all stuck in your ways. This is chestnut checkers, y'all. I've been telling y'all, the reason I was able to play four years of basketball wasn't based on skill. There were a lot of players that was way more skilled than me, but I understood the game. As soon as the coach tell you, you quick, you could quickly identify certain things and learn to manipulate it and defeat it, that's how you gain that advantage over your opponent. And that's what basketball have always been about. It's always been a chess game. Yeah, that person got more athletic ability. Yeah, that person could do better, could dribble better. But can you think the game? That's basketball in a nutshell. So let me know what y'all think about the video. Y'all know what it is. Your boy is saying first time to the channel, like, share, subscribe. How bless them. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace. It's a new 2K out. Another year to make some moves. Another year for drama. Another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate that y'all can. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. The Fruit Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the basics. He gon' teach you how to win. He, he gon' touch, touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the ball in the fourth, LeBron James. LeBron James.